A jet of water of diameter 50 mm strikes a fixed plate in such a way that the angle between the plate and the jet is 30 degrees. The force exerted in the direction of the jet is 1471.5 newtons. Determine the rate of flow of water. So here uh, a jet of water. So here jet of uh, water of diameter 50 mm so d is equals to 50 mm strikes a fixed plate so this jet of water strikes a fixed plate in such a way that the angle between so here jet of water strikes a fixed plate and here the angle between the jet and the plate is 30 degrees so theta is equal to 30 degrees okay and the force exerted in the direction of the jet so force exerted in the direction of the jet is f suffix x okay here f x is given so force exerted in the direction of jet is 1471.5 Newton. Okay. Now, determine the rate of flow of water. So we have to find rate of flow of water. So it means uh, rate of flow of water. It means we have to find uh, discharge. So what is the formula for discharge? Discharge is equals to cross sectional area of the jet into velocity of the jet. Q is equal to A into V. This is the formula. First of all, what is A here? Here A is cross sectional area of the jet. Or we can say area of jet. Area of jet. So area of jet formula pi by 4 into d squared. Because the cross section of the jet is circular cross section. Now, pi by 4 into d square. So d square means diameter. Here what is the diameter of the jet? So diameter, diameter of the jet is 50 mm. Let us convert it into meters. So 50 into 1 mm is equals to. We know that 1 mm is equals to 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. Okay. So 50 mm means 50 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. Okay. Now we can write 0 0.050 meters. So here d is equal to. 0.050 whole square okay let us find value of this okay so 0 0.050 whole square now find area of jet now using some scientific calculator area of jet a is equals to if you calculate uh, you will get pi by 4 into 0 0.050 whole square value 0 0.0025 then a is equals to 0 0.001935 meter square okay so this is a value of cross section area of the jet okay so now we have a value next we need what velocity of velocity of the jet v so how do we get v here already in this question he given force exerted by the jet in the direction of the jet force exerted in the direction of the jet force exerted in the direction of the jet uh, fx in case of uh, in when uh, uh, the jet strikes a fixed plate uh, where the fixed the angle between jet and fixed place is 30 degrees here the problem is here case is the plate is inclined plate uh, fixed inclined plate okay na? and here jet strikes the inclined plate so fx is equals to force exerted by the jet in the direction of the jet formula is rho a v square sin square theta rho a v square sin square theta okay so rho a v square sin square theta here unknown is v so what about rho rho means density of uh, water so density of water 1000 kg per meter cube 
now fx value 1471.5 row value 1000 into what is the value of area 0 0.0019 one nine oh, so this is six three five one nine six three five its value six three five into v square into sin square so what is the value of theta thirty degrees so sin thirty value one by two sin thirty value one by two okay now so one four seven one point five is equal to thousand into this uh, you will get one point nine six uh, three five into v square into sine square thirty degrees sine thirty one by two so one by two whole square one by two whole square so one four seven one point five transpose one point nine six three five so you will get to one four seven one point five by one point nine six three five is equals to v square into 1 by 2 whole square means 1 by 4 mm. now now transpose 4 division becomes multiplication now v square is equals to 1471.5 into 4 by 1.9635 now calculate this value <clears throat> so this value is uh, 5 one, multiply these two you will get uh, 5886 by 1.9635 so if you calculate you will get a value around 2997.1 now v is equal to apply square root on both sides square square root cancel v is equal to root over 2997.71 okay. So root over two double nine seven point seven one. So its value is fifty four point seven five meter per second. So this is the velocity of the jet. So this is the velocity of the jet. Now let us find flow rate. What is the formula for flow rate? So Q is equal to area of jet into velocity of jet. Area of jet zero point double zero one nine six three five into velocity. 54.75 so if you multiply you will get 0 0.1075 so unit of discharge meter cube per second meter cube per second so suppose we want to convert it into liters per second means we know that we know that 1 liter is equals to 1000 sorry 1 meter is equal to so 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters 1 meter cube is equals to 1000 liters okay na? so 0 0.1075 meter cube per meter cube per second means so how much you will get hmm? so q is equals to multiply with 1000 thousand into zero point one zero seven five liters per second so you will get one zero seven five one zero seven point five liter per second therefore the flow rate of uh, water is one zero seven point five liter per second this is the final answer